parents, this thing with whoever my guardian is, is been to, it's, it's too much. And then we want to break free. But then we don't think about, okay, when I break free, what's going to happen? After I have broken free, we don't think about what happens after that. Mm. Independence for me is a, is, a, is a mental journey, is knowing mm. that I depend on myself. Like Viva said, um, independence is basically knowing that I can wake up today and do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the scope that, you know, not, not obviously wildly do whatever you want. No, whatever you want that is legal, basically. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. obviously. So, so um, independence for a lot of people, yes, is being able to do whatever they want. But I, I have always been someone who's very responsible, who, who, who knows what my responsibility should be. And I know that independence comes with a mountain of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And then, so sometimes you have the independence and then you just end up using it to perform your responsibilities. And then really, what is, what, what is left? So for me, it's just mental freedom. Uh, there were times when I was in situations where I felt like I was in, in jail. Literally, I wasn't in jail, but because my mind felt mm -hmm. like I was in a mental jail, mm -hmm. I felt like I was in a physical jail. And we do that sometimes when we are trapped in our emotions, we are in situations we can't get out of. We, we, we you know, we are suffering. We have no one to tell. We are, you know, we are in a jail. It's, it's just that is in our minds. Mm -hmm. And so when you are able to break free, you know, you are, your finances are set right, um, and the house rent you are looking to pay, you know, is no longer a concern. You you know that you can get, for example, I always say, tell people, for example, if you have the basic necessities of life covered, okay, that's real independence. Mm. You, 